Uh, women's 15. Faith Kipiegon, man, is just fun to watch. So on the broadcast, they said, man, I thought this would be closer because Sagai and Kipiegon were gone. But the reason why there was such a big gap and the reason why I laughed when they mentioned it is because they go 60, 60. They were 203 at 800. And then they followed that up with another 63. And at that point, this is, I was like, this is going to be fast. It's just a matter of how fast is it going to be. So Kipiegon's mark, number nine in history. She's run faster than that, but it's number nine in history. And Sagai held on for the ride and ran a 354. But Kipiegon is so good. Most people, you go out 60 and then 63. I mean, that's 203. That's 406 mile pace. I mean, that's what three, about roughly 349, 1500 meter pace. So she was on world record 1500 meter pace uh, at least through halfway, maybe even a bit longer. But she doesn't seem like she can be stopped. It's just incredible. It doesn't matter what the race is. Her 351, 352, 353, 354 is everybody else's 356, 57, 358. Like she just handles the pace regardless. And she went out with a clear race plan, a clear mission of not letting this thing go tactical, not letting this thing dawdle at all. And it just makes that event so much more fun when people race it all the way from the gun. And I give credit. To Sagai for, for sticking with her, for hanging on. Yeah, Tiana, Tiana Tiana has got it, or Tiana Madison. She ran the hell out of that 1500. That's, exa that's exactly what happened. I mean, she just, she ran it like it was an 800 or something. She just went for it from the gun with no expectation, no worries at all that it would potentially cost her uh, on the back half. Other people I want to mention, though, Gabrielle W. Stafford was third, 358. It almost was two separate races. Sinclair Johnson of the U.S., PB, 358. That's a big performance. Anytime you get an American sub four, that's big. Maybe she can make the team off that. Jessica Hall, 359. Then uh, St. Pierre, 359. Hailu, 359. So seven women sub four in this race. Was surprised. Laura Muir, not a factor. 404 in this race. That was surprising. For me that she finished that far back again she just ran in birmingham last weekend might be tough flying over adjusting to the time zones but this really was all about faith kip Yegon, just putting her brilliance putting her dominance on full display and and making it so everybody could see there is no confusion about who the greatest women's miler is of all time it's faith kip Yegon. end of story there doesn't need to be any more conversation about it it's Faith Kipiega. Women's eight. 